With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. So the question says, choose the correct statement of the following. Statement A is, in P-type semiconductor, holes are majority carriers. Statement B is, in N-type semiconductor, free electrons are majority carriers. So we have to find which statement is true and which statement is false. So now let's see the answer. So the answer is both statements A and B are true. Because in P type semiconductor, so in P type semiconductor, yeah, P type semiconductor is formed when a trivalent or a trivalent impurity atom impurity atom like gallium so gallium is a trivalent atom trivalent means which has um, three electrons in its structure so when a trivalent impurity atom is um, mixed with a pure semiconductor which gives you a p-type semiconductor here, yeah, so here the holes are are majority carriers. Holes are majority carriers because the number of holes is more higher than number of electrons in P-type semiconductor. Similarly, a yeah, N-type semiconductor. So N-type semiconductor. So the n-type semiconductor is formed when a pentavalent pentavalent impurity atom impurity atom pentavalent means which the atoms having five valence electrons such as antimony antimony and arsenic are the examples of pentavalent impurity atom so when this pentavalent impurity atom is added to a pure semiconductor this produces excess of free electrons so the number of electrons in this n-type semiconductor is more high than the holes in the n-type semiconductor so in n-type semiconductor electrons are majority hairs so the option C is correct. Both A statement A and statement B are true. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.